it's hard to read a story like this and and not be affected by it. The Daily Mail headline is distraught social media users slam TikTok as disturbing video of Iraq war veteran killing himself on live stream is circulated on the app. Ronnie McNutt, 31, shot himself in the head while broadcasting on Facebook. Since the Mississippian's death on August 31st, Video has been circulated on TikTok. Millions are believed to have watched the harrowing footage of the Iraq veteran. TikTok's For You homepage is said to have been showing a preview of the video. And of course, the National Suicide Prevention Hotline number is included in the story. Don't be afraid to reach out if you're triggered by this. So this is just... Welcome, welcome to 2020, right? Welcome to the, welcome to modern America and the world we live in. TikTok says they are banning anyone who is sharing the video, which has been described by users as extremely gory and terrifying. But users have slammed TikTok, and some have claimed people have been editing the videos to include shots of cats to trick viewers into watching. As Twitter user Elise wrote, Twitter is one messed up, or TikTok is one messed up app. People are posting the video of Ronnie McNutt, a guy who committed suicide on Facebook Live. My thoughts are with his family. Another tweeted, I was just scrolling through TikTok and a video of someone committing suicide was on my For You page. How are videos like that allowed? I'm so just, I don't know, disgusted and sad and just freaked out. And I'm, I'm I mean, I'm kind of torn on this myself. Why, why did he do that? I don't mean, why did he commit suicide? I mean, why did he do it on Facebook Live? He wanted people to know. Absolutely, he wanted people to know. He did not want to go quietly into the night. He did not want to die in vain. He wanted you to know that veteran suicide is a serious fucking problem. 22 a day, highly underreported number. And so would you deny, would you deny this, this veteran this man who fought for your freedom of speech, would you deny him his dying wish for his suicide to be broadcast, to be seen, to be heard, to call attention to this issue? Now, I'm definitely against fraudulently showing people a violent video. There should be warnings, and that reduce that 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 eliminates eliminates the entire need for social media censorship. Because you could share this video, and if someone flags it, it just gets a screen over it, a warning. And they've done this. Facebook has showed that they can do this. Obviously, it's not difficult coding for them to say anytime. You know, we see something on, on Facebook that's that's sexual or violent or a sensitive content. We are going to let people flag it, not to censor it, not to take it down, not to get accounts banned, but simply to warn people who might be triggered by seeing something like that. Problem solved. And I, I, we've covered this idea with racism and pedophilia if someone is willing to expose themselves as a racist on social media do you really want that to be censored think about it for a second your neighbor might unknowingly to you hate you because of your skin color 
and be posting stuff because they want you to know. They want to, they, they're, they're trying to like, yeah, we don't like you. And somebody on the other side of the world sees that post before you do, reports it to Facebook, and it gets taken down. Now you don't know that your neighbor's a racist. Censorship is evil. It's evil. There's no way, there's no way around it. And I would say that it's the same thing with pedophiles. Do you really think what should happen when someone exposes themselves as a pedophile online, that they should have their Facebook account suspended? Do you think that's an appropriate punishment if they're actually acting on that pedophilia? Fuck no. Maybe we put up with this kind of censorship because we're all uncomfortable to a certain degree with difficult topics. Please, Mark Zuckerberg, protect me from anything that might trigger me. Not realizing the disastrous effects of sweeping problems under the rug instead of addressing them. And I think when you talk about self-harm, another subject we've covered related to this idea. A young teenagers cry for help, hurting themselves, cutting themselves. Oh, you can't use Facebook for that. Flame wars and stupid political debates and cat pictures. We got you covered there. Actually useful communications that could save lives. Mm, no, we're going to censor that. And I wonder how many lives have been lost unnecessarily. Veterans, victims of pedophiles, child sex trafficking as a result. Teenagers who have committed suicide. As a result of all of the evil that, that, that we sweep under the rug with censorship and, and social media. And, you know, Lenny Bruce, comedian, Famously said, if you can't say fuck, you can't say fuck the government. Well, if you can't say racism, you can't say fuck racism. If you can't say fuck pedophilia, if you can't say fuck, you can't say fuck pedophilia. You can't say fuck suicide. I wonder how many veterans cries for help have been have been censored or stifled because they they referenced something violent or controversial how much is the human conversation so invigorated in many ways by social media perverted and distorted by the censorship who knows but we have to fight it and with every chance we get, say, fuck censorship. All right.